So let me show you a basic application. We have here an application with a bunch of employees, and when you click on an employee, you get their employee details. I'm going to use this application to show you how to pass parameters between pages in Oracle Application Builder Cloud Service. So what we want to do is we want to be able to stand on an employee and then click a button okay, and show all the employees that are making more money than this employee. Okay? So we can have a button and we can call it show hire, for example. Okay? And then we need to navigate to another page. So let's create another page. We'll do a new page. We'll create the hire page. Okay? This is a landing page in terms of type. And over here, we're just going to drop over a table of employees showing the name and salary. Okay. So now we have the two pages, and we want to pass a parameter between the first page, okay, the page where we're actually editing an employee, should pass the salary of the employee that we're working on to the next page to filter based on. So how do you do it? So here are the steps. You go into your application settings, and other extension, there's an area here that allows you to add a shared resource. Okay. And we're going to add a new resource. We're going to call this the param resource, and give it a name, like that. And we're going to use the simple resource template. So this actually creates an extension to our application, which is based on a JavaScript file that you can see here. In here, we're defining a message object, okay? And we're actually putting here an initial value, um, saying ahoy. You can put here an initial value of zero, for example. I'm not going to change this code, but you could. You could basically go over and change the places where it says message to something else more meaningful to you. I'm just going to keep it as message um, just for the sake of simplicity. What you want to make sure is that you actually activate this extension by clicking on this checkbox, okay? And then going back to the page designer. All right, so we have this button, and now we're going to define what this button actually does. So if we click the new action, one of the things we can do here is inject some JavaScript. We'll call this one the set salary function, okay? And what you will see now is that you can actually, under global, have access to your param field messages. Okay, so this is the extension you created, the resource, and a specific field. And if you click on it, you'll actually see how to reference it. So what we want to do is we want to set this to be equal to the value that is currently in the salary field. Okay, so we clicked on param messages and said it's equal to get value. Right? To completely resolve this uh, custom code, we need a resolve method at the end. We click Save. After we set the salary, the next step is to navigate. Okay, and we can just navigate to another page, so bring it over here, and choose to navigate to the higher page. Okay. So now we defined what this button does. Now let's go over and define the query on the higher page. Okay. So we pick up the table, and if you look at the database section, there's a default query, which is nothing, and we're going to add a query that says, that salary must be um, more or equal, and we're not going to have a fixed value, but rather do an expression here. Again, choosing the param fields message. Okay. So if you look at the condition now, it says that the salary must be higher than whatever we have in the messages. Okay. And now we're actually ready to run our application. So let's go back to our homepage and run the application. So initially, we see all the employees. And we can, for example, click on Mike, okay, see the details, and go and click the Show Hire. And we're only getting people who earn basically what Mike earns or hire. Okay. Let's go back to the home page. This time, we're going to click on Jane. And now we're only seeing Jane and people who are earning a higher salary. So this is how easy it is to pass parameters between pages. Okay, all you need to do is extend your application with an additional resource.